Hey everybody, my name is Jammin, and we are back playing some Cubic Cubetastic Cube World Lands of Crowther. So I think this is new, pretty sure. Yeah, I have not been here before. So there's going to be a bunch of new stuff in there. Look at how many of these places I've opened up, but I've only really explored one. So I just wanted to get a sneak peek, see what's around. The village is pretty far. But that's an interesting shape. Just go straight out that way, which means we'll have something else right here, which makes me very, very happy. But today, we're going to go back. I think we have one more quest in the desert. And I hope it's, I hope it's good. I hope it's something fun. I'm not going to be able to take us all the way there because it is far, far away. But I can go like this. Jump on my glider and swing on into action. But there's something I gotta do because I haven't done it in a very long time and we should... Obviously we should know what's happening. Get rid of that. Experience points. I haven't touched them in a while. So what are we gonna do? You know, let's, let's put a couple into hang gliding. I like uh, I like the idea of getting faster and faster. It's kind of funny that my pet riding and my hang gliding are my two highest abilities. But now this guy is just going to motor, man, and the hang gliding will be much much better. I should be uh, I should be able to stay up a little bit longer. Um, maybe even move a bit faster. I'm not sure if that's actually how it works, but. We're going to go with that. Yeah, we're going to go with that. It's going to make me faster when I'm on the hang glider. All right? Cool. But I'm going to cut away here, guys. I need to get really, really far out there. I'm heading over to those right there. Those swords just dangling up in the middle of nowhere. We're going to head there, and it's going to take me some time. But when we get there, or if we find anything along the way, I'll bring you guys back. I'll see you then. Do you guys remember when I used to think that Saurians were difficult? <laughs> Do you remember when I used to be so afraid of these guys? They do 20 damage. 20 damage if they can hit you. Looks like the mighty have fallen and the dwarf have become taller than ever before. Mwah, ah, 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 ah. You know, I almost feel bad for some of the little bosses you find in this game. This little midge, he probably never hurt anybody. Hell, he's not even hurting me. In fact, it might be one of the easiest fights I've ever had in my life. And yet, we just walk in here. Well, he's minding his own business, and what do we do? Bam! Ruin his day. It's funny. You wouldn't think it, but a lot of the desert looks the same. <laughs> surprise, surprise. A desert that doesn't have too many discerning features. Oh, I think I spoiled it, guys. Look at what we got up ahead. The mission is right in front of us, and it's a big, bad pyramid. Yeah, a big, bad pyramid. We're going to go for it, though. We're gonna see if we can actually do it. I hope it. Uh, I hope it's not too tough. But hey, we'll find out. I'm always game for a try, you know. What are these things? Devourer. What are these things? Lizard men. What? What are all these things? All right, we'll kill these devourers. These guys are a piece of cake anyway. Easy as pie. Provide no challenge whatsoever. Insect guards, defeat the ruler in the Lano Pyramid. I wonder if I can. I guess we'll find out, right? Let's take out these insect guards first. We're pretty close to getting up another level. It's funny how quickly you level up when you actually get up to a higher level than like two or three, you know? Because before that, 
it just it takes a long time. Ooh, leftovers plus fifty four. Nice. Yeah, it takes a long time to level up when you're when you're brand new. But I, I'm level twenty four right now, and I think last episode I went up three ep three levels. It's blue. Let's hope it's not a plus friggin' a gajillion or something. And yeah, I just said a gajillion. Whatever. You want to fight about it? So what? Nothing over there. Turn on the brightness. Everybody, can you see me now? Can you can you hear me now? Can you see me now? Because I'm here. I'm here. I'm right here. See me? I'm the short guy with red hair. Nope. Not the plane runner. Right here. Alright, that's enough of that. Catch the wall, and down we go. Cat, mosquito, guardian. Oh, these guys should be easy. Oh, yeah. Hey, when they get an attack in there, though, they're pretty deadly. Knock everybody down. How about that? Oh, maybe I should drink a potion. I can't see a damn thing. Cause I'm okay. Let's uh, let's do that again. That was that was bad. I couldn't see what the heck I was doing. I need to get down into that room, I guess. Otherwise, I'm screwed. I'm useless. When they back me into the when they back me into a corner like that, there's nothing I can do. Whoa! Pardon me, guys. For some reason, I set a timer on my phone. I did not mean to do that. Beep 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 beep. beep. Shut up! All right, here we go. Take two. <laughs> Could start to take two. <laughs> Is that plus 45? Yeah, we'll use these ones up first. Okay, and down we go. Look at that mage guy. That mage guy is going to be a problem. Oh, I almost made it. Okay, let's get down here. Crap. No good. Take three. <laughs> what was I saying? Was I saying I was getting really good at this game? Because, man, I don't know if I could get any better at this game. So easy. You know, I just... A new challenge comes up, and I just walk in there. And, you know, hey, guys, how you doing? This is... Is this supposed to be difficult, you know? Because here I am, kicking your butt. Yeah, all right. It's those mages. Those mages and those ancient guardians. They seem to be the problem. Okay, let's take on these guys. These guys should be easy. It's mosquito down. Shut up, cat. What do you got? You got nothing. Pet food fruit basket? What kind of pet eats a fruit basket? You know, if it were a picnic basket, I guess it would be for bears. As long as they weren't your average bear. Ah, old joke is old. I know. Alright, these guys are right here. It looks like they want a piece of the action already. It's no problem. When you get them one-on-one, -on -one, not so scary. Ranger battle. Who's gonna win? Piece of cake. Ooh. Ooh. What? Magic wood crossbow of Wolfric. Power 46? Are you kidding me? Okay, my weapon rating right now is 51%. Plop that in there, 72%. Okay. Let's, uh, let's try this out. This is new. Uh... Oh, I'm a high enough level for these things. Check these out. Oh, I've been dying to get these on. Look at that. It's got little green studs on the side of it. It looks like I'm wearing a freaking jetpack, man. Holy crap. I just became a freaking boss. What, you're a freaking mage? whoop de doo What do you got? Look at that. I almost freaking one-shot that guy. Oh, man. That was insane! Alright, let's do this. We are now going beast mode. <laughs> oh, man! These guys don't stand a chance! 
polished wood bow plus 43. Look at the stuff I'm getting, man. Yeah. Well, no, it's not so good. Either way. Okay, let's go left. We got a, a gin up here. I fought a couple of these gin guys before. Nothing to write home about. Trust me on that. Oh, did you see the damage on that? 383. Oh, man. Wow. It's like all of a sudden, I am awesome at this game. Well, yeah, I was awesome before. We all know it. You guys, I, I, I heard you. Maybe not in the comments, but I heard you saying how awesome I am at this game. <laughs> so it looks like the other way is the way we want to go. Oh, man. Like... We're walking through them like a hot knife through butter. I guess hot knives and butter don't really walk, but you get the idea. These guys are simple. Oh, you're some mosquitoes? <laughs> Big deal. Want to see something awesome? Boom. How's that for awesome? Knock you right on your ass. <laughs> Long range shot right at that mage. Didn't even know what hit him. These skeletons have a lot of health. Nope, don't think so. Oh, and even the mage can't hit can't hit me. Oh man. This feels good. This feels really good. Take out the mage. As soon as that mage is down, it's no problem. These guys are only dropping 9 XP. Damn. Heal up. Muffin button time. I'm ready. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What have you got? Oh, I don't even need to use my special attack on you. Because my tempo was so damn high because of those rings, this crossbow... Exceptional Iron Axe, Grand Iron Fist of Lyric... I'm getting some legendary weapons, man. Every weapon I'm picking up is like... It's got someone's name on it. It's not just a, an awesome bow of awesomeness. It's, you know, Jammin's awesome bow of awesomeness. Or something of the sort. Okay. Now we're getting into a bit of a sticky situation. Oh, he got me. Okay. I'm going to jump right back where I was, guys. Two seconds. But seriously, can you believe how awesome this bow is? This thing is fantastic. Just take them out one at a time, Jammin. Just take them out one at a time. Yep. You're a fool for coming around that corner, but I will kill you, thankfully. With a smile on my face. That's what we call death with a service, right? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Am I being attacked by a green slime? I totally am. Do I have the food for a green slime? I do. Maybe we should get a new pet. Yeah. Can I ride around on a slime? Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. That's so cool. What is... Oh, there's, an, there's an invisible wall here. Or something. Oh, it's probably like an invisible uh, chair. Or one of these things. Whatever the heck those things are. Some sort of centerpiece. I don't really know. But how awesome is this crossbow? Oh, I can't get over it. Like, where was this stuff ten levels ago? I know if you get some really wicked items in the beginning, you're you're gonna be way OP, but you know, a little something along the way would have helped. Instead it looks like they drop it on us all at once. As soon as you get to fight the right guys, I guess, you know? Either way, I'm not complaining. I'm super happy with this thing. I am kicking some butt with it. Again, not invincible. That sometimes is my problem, that I forget that I can die. Which is what happened before. Are there more people fighting in here? Huh. Now, I know I'm using these potions kind of wastefully, but I'm trying to get to the, my higher level ones, because I still had so many of the old crappy potions. 
But we are getting there. Man, are we ever getting there. So how you guys doing today? It's been uh it's been good. I'm a uh, cotton shoulder armor plus 46 silk gloves. I got two of the exact same cotton shoulder armor. That's hilarious. It's my days off from work now and pff, I am glad. I am glad to have them. You know, it's uh after the vacation getting back to work has been has been really tough. Actually, <laughs> you know, I only came back and worked two days. My days off are usually uh, Wednesday and Thursday. So with Wednesday and Thursday off, that's usually when I do a lot of my backup recording. Start new series, get things going. But uh, I am enjoying the time away from work, I tell you. Uh, if you guys are, are too young for jobs or anything like that, Live with your parents as long as is possible. <laughs> I know that may sound counterproductive. You'd be like, no, I don't want to live with my parents. My parents are dumb. But seriously, live with your parents as long as possible. Even when you get a job, live with your parents as long as possible. Because if you do, all that money, you don't pay rent. Your parents don't make you pay rent. And if they do, well, it's probably going to be a lot less than it would for your own apartment. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes I miss those days. Don't get me wrong, I love the freedom of being on my own. My girlfriend and I have our own place together. It's it's awesome. So nice. But at the end of the day, you can make a lot of money in those years that you just chill and live, hang out in your parents' basement. You can make a lot of money. Now, I started working when I was 13 years old. You know, and, and because of that, I was always the guy in high school who had money. I started working before I was even in high school. You know, whether I was a camp counselor or working at Tim Hortons, that's a Canadian coffee shop for any of you who don't know. I'm sure you do. Yeah, my first job was at Tim Hortons. How hilarious is that? But, uh, you know, I started working when I was 13. By the time I was 15, I had enough money saved up to, to have a crap load of money saved up and to go out and buy myself a drum set. How many 15-year-olds do you know buy their own drum set. I'm not saying I begged my parents to buy me a drum set. I'm saying I made... Oh, oh, oh. Don't die. Don't die. I'm saying I made lots of money and I wanted a drum set and I went out and I picked one out and I bought it. It wasn't a gift. It wasn't a present. It wasn't a, hey, good job, you know? It was, man, I want to play the drums, so I'm going to play the freaking drums. And, oh, looks like the boss is right up there. So let's go clear these guys out, and then we'll go take him on. But yeah, you know, it was it was an important life lesson, and I took those years when I lived with my parents, and I saved my money, and uh, I went to university for four years, and I have no debt because of it. I don't owe anybody anything, you know? Eventually, I might have to take out a loan, because I'm thinking about going back to school. I've been thinking that, ah, oh, come on! What was I saying? That's right. I might have to take out a loan eventually, because I've been thinking about going back to school for video game design. I love video games so much. They're a part of my life every single day. You know, there is not a day that I don't play. And if, if I don't play on a day, it's because I can't. Like, I literally cannot. I'm not near a computer, or a phone, or a tablet, or a, a Nintendo DS, or something, you know? I love video games. And I really think I could transfer that love into video games by making video games. I just don't know how. But yeah, I mean, I went all that time living in my parents' house just making money. And making lots of money. You know, even if you're working minimum wage when you're 14, 15 years old. You work, you know, even if you only work 20 or 30 hours a week. By the end of the week, uh, working $10 an hour... You're, you're coming home with $300. You know? If you do that 30 hours every week for two weeks, that's $600. Now, of course, you're going to lose some in taxes. That's just kind of the way it works. You know, that'll probably be more like $500. But still, how many 14-year-old kids you know get paid $500, $1,000 a month? How many? Yo, how badass would that be? You know, you want to go out for lunch, you don't have to bug your parents for money. You want to go out to the movies, 
you get more than 15 bucks. You want to save up for a trip to go to Europe when you're old enough? Bam. You got the money. None of this hoping and hoping and hoping or like Christmas presents and birthday presents and getting all your family to pay. Damn it. All that I'm trying to say is make some money, stay at your parents' house as long as you can and save that money. You'll honestly, you'll thank me for that later. Now, would you guys quit distracting me? I'm trying to fight a boss here. Come on. It's really difficult as it is without you guys, you know, always chatting in my ear. Oh, Jammin, you know, tell us about this, tell us about that. Oh, he dodged me out real good. I'm kidding, guys. I love talking to you. I hope you guys enjoy listening to me as much as I enjoy making you listen. <laughs> you don't have to do it. I know. But I, I am getting quite happy, you know. I got... I'm up to eight subscribers. You know, when I'm recording this video, I'm at eight subscribers. And in all honesty, more than I ever thought I'd get. You know, I thought I would be on here and nobody, nobody would be interested in my perspective of video games. But it makes me really happy to know that there are some people out there who enjoy what I do and want to see me keep doing what I do. And that's... Oh man, I can't believe I keep on missing that dodge. This is getting so frustrating. You guys are going to see me get killed by this guy like five times today. <laughs> well, let's do it again. Alright, this time we got him. Focus, focus, focus. Just play the game. Just play the game. Just do what you know how to do and play the freaking game. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Roll, roll, roll. Loud, loud noises. Gonna kill this guy. He's got a stupid mace. He's got a stupid face. I'm gonna show him what is his place. Gotta dodge those attacks. I've also equipped my health potions rather than the cactus potions. Because I figure these guys are gonna be a bit quicker. Run away. Yeah, that's right. How do you like an arrow to the face? Probably don't like it very much, do you? Oh, you're gonna drink a potion, are you? Is that how desperate measures have gotten? Oh, you're done. Three, two, one. Game over. Final freaking Lee, man. So we got a crazy, crazy iron hammer, it looks like, which is useless to us. But a wind spirit plus 49. That is awesome. And that and that's it. We've done every mission available to us in this desert. So I'm I'm happy. You know, I'm gonna go back to town, I'm gonna reset, and I'm gonna see if we get anything really cool. But if we don't, I think it might be time to move on somewhere else. You know, this desert, it's really nice, but it's it's kinda boring. It's kinda plain. There's not much to do. You know, obviously I haven't done everything, but there's a bunch of pyramids and probably temples and little bosses all over the place but it all it all kinda looks the same to me I think I'd rather go and experience something totally different I wanna go find a crazy landscape how do I how do I get out of here I'll find my way anyway I wanna say thank you guys so much for watching my name's Jammin that is spelled with a silent X of course and as always thank you so much for watching and next time you see me it's gonna be a good day we're going to be traipsing around the world, and we're going to go kill us some new things. <laughs> Never heard me say that before, have you? <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye for now.